this is show number 60. And another reason, as I mentioned previously, we number these shows and we let you know what number they are. So if you ever have any question about anything in the context of the show, you can certainly email us by using the web addresses at the end of each program, which is displayed on that slate. And now we're going to stretch out through your hamstrings. And it's a deep stretch, so I think I'll be kind and first put you into the clam, putting the soles of your feet together and lifting and tilting and gently rotating your pelvis in a forward direction. As we do this, please be sure that you're specifically thinking about the hip joints, that hinge. You're going to rotate forward, try to stretch into the hinge. Pull your torso forward, no forcing, no bouncing. Stretch through your glutes, through the lumbar back. Put your forehead on your feet or as close to it as you can. Don't get discouraged. Pick up your head, bring your torso up, and extend both legs straight out in front of you. We're going to roll back onto our backs, and you know if your back is weak, you need to bend both of your knees. If your back is all right, keep your legs straight, stomach tight, arms up for leverage. You want to come down into a pelvic tilt. As you come down, push the heels of your feet away from your body. Keep your stomach very tight, easing down, coming down one vertebra at a time. Shoulders down, head down, and bring your right leg up. Let's help you out a little bit by bending the left knee. Push the heel toward the ceiling. The whole purpose is you want to stretch out the Achilles tendon. Stretch it out, stretch it out, and bend your knee. Bring your left leg up. Push the heel up. Push stretching through the Achilles tendon. Feel it now. Feel it. And bend your knee. Straighten out both of your legs. Go into a pelvic tilt to protect your back. Tighten your stomach and press the waist into the floor. And bring your right leg up and get your hands around your calf. Begin to pull the leg toward you. Pull toward you. Inching your hands up toward your ankle. Push the heel away, push the heel away, and lower. Stomach tight, pelvic tilt, bring your left leg up, glide your hands up, pull the heel away, pull the toes toward you, and lower. We're getting a little bit deeper now. Right leg up, try to glide your hands up to your ankles, pull the toes toward you, and lower. Stomach tight, pelvic tilt, left leg up, way up high. Breathe softly. And lower. All right, right leg up. Reach up and hold your toes. Pull the toes toward your face. Allow the left knee to be slightly bent. And lower. Left leg up, glide up, hold on to your toes. Pull the toes toward your face and lower. Stomach tight, pelvic tilt, both legs up. Reach up and hold your toes. Pull the toes toward you, pull toward you. Breathe softly, feel this stretch now all the way through the back of your legs into your hips. And then release, keep your lower back flat on the floor, ease your legs down, bend your knees if your back leaves the floor, and relax. Aren't you glad that's over? <laughs> now, bend your knees, put your feet flat, and slowly push your feet as far away from your body as you can. Going into a solid pelvic tilt, pick up your head and shoulders, arms up, interlock your thumbs, and bring your torso up. And again, put the soles of your feet together and just an easy little forward stretch through the lower back. Get the kinks out, fold forward, and coming back up into the upright position. Sitting cross-legged, we're going to work the muscles in your shoulders and in your neck. Give you a little nice muscular definition. Bringing your arms up, turn your palms toward the ceiling. And going backward, you're going to start making circles. There are small circles, 
and they gradually get larger in size. Don't thrust the head forward, sit upright and make the circles bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Pay attention to what you're doing. Make the muscles work. Don't just mechanically make arm circles. Get your mind into what you're doing. Figure out what muscles are being used. Maximize that effort. Slowly begin to make your circles smaller. When you really pay attention and you work into those muscles, you'll get an awful lot more workout for the same period of time. All right? Now, turn your palms to the floor and go big, starting with small circles going in the opposite direction, bigger and bigger and bigger. Lengthen your waist, draw your stomach in, bigger. If you're just watching and not doing, you're not getting a whole lot out of this, you know. So come on and give it a go. Give it a go. No matter what bad a shape you might think you're in, I guarantee it. If you work with this and take it a cinch by the inch, you will be amazed. In a matter of months, you will be amazed. Make your circles smaller, smaller, and smaller. And bring your arms down. Feel that? Ooh, feel that in the neck and shoulders. So reach back and rub. Rub through your neck. Rub through your shoulders. Rub around. Tuck your chin into your chest and stretch through the back of your neck. Ah, that feels good. And then we're going to go back to the pretzel. So you bring your right heel to the outer right hip, the left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Instead of using your arms in the back as we've done previously, you're going to use your arms to the forward position, which makes it a little bit harder. So you're going to bend over the hip joint, fold forward, extend your arms in a forward direction. Put your head down, pick up your head, bring your arms up shoulder level, Swing your arms to the right, pick up your feet, drop down to the right, and stretch over the right leg. Stretch. Pick up your head, bring your arms up shoulder level, twisting back around, lift up your knees, rotate, and stretch over your left thigh. Pick up your head, bring your arms up, shoulder level, swing your arms, rotate your joints, and stretch over the right. Coming up, rotate, and stretch. Coming up, rotate, and stretch. Coming up and finish. Now we're going to stand up. So cross your ankles, bring your feet in very close to your seat. Your palms are up. Reach forward. Stand up for the sun salutation. Having your feet a comfortable distance apart in order to have you maintaining your balance correctly. Spread out your toes, establish the weight between the balls of the feet and the heels of your feet. Tighten your kneecaps, your quads, stomach tight, a pelvic tilt, don't throw the tailbone back. Lengthen up your spine, palms together, prayer fashion, open up through the breastbone, chin up, eyes open. Inhale, arms forward, lengthen. Exhale, going up, arch slightly. And ease down, hands beside your thighs, bend at the hip joints, breathe softly. Do not throw your hips back. Keep the weight over your balls of your feet and the heels. Slide your hands down, put your hands down on the floor with the fingertips ending with the toe tips. Bring your right foot way back onto your right, the top of your right thigh. Stretch deeply. Coming up onto your tiptoe, left leg back. 
Breathe softly. Come down onto your knees, your chest, and your forehead. Not your stump. Slide into a lying position. The top of the feet flat. Push up into a cobra. Lower your shoulders. Lengthen your neck. Open your chest. Coming up. Hips high. Walk your feet towards your hands until you can put the heels of your feet flat on the floor. Stretch forward. Stretch your torso. Lean forward. Bring your right foot up to your right hand. Come down onto your left knee, the top of the left foot flat on the floor. Make sure your knee does not go over your toes. The knee's got to stay in line with your ankle to protect your Achilles tendon. Pushing up. Bring your head to your knees. Stretch. Pick up your head, line your neck up to your spine, come up, palms together, inhaling up, reaching all the way up to the ceiling, way back, arch your back, exhale, coming forward, palms together, prayer fashion, arms back down, and relax. Good. And then cross your ankles and sit. And we're going to try again to go into the hidden lotus. So you bring your right foot over the top of your left thigh, way up high. Left foot over the top of your right thigh. Again, if you're in half lotus, you can try it, but you won't get that locked in position. And then come up onto your knees. Walk your hands forward. Ease down onto your elbows. Ease down. Elbows out and rest your chin on the back of your hand. Just a wonderfully comfortable position. Then push up onto your knees. Walk your way back. Ease out of your position. And this time, bring the left foot up first. Need to keep balancing up. Then the right foot. Up onto your knees. Walk your way forward gently. Gently. Ease down onto your elbows. Put your stomach on the floor. And just hope the phone doesn't ring. Because this to me is so comfortable. I can stay here all day. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you next time. Bye. To purchase a copy of Priscilla's One Stretch at a Time, Recovering from Breast Surgery, program number 012-009, please call 1-800-553-7752 or write to the address on your screen.